videos, we are going to work on one of these hangers today. I am really excited about this. Um, oh, also, one of the new things that I'm trying is this salt wash. I'm like, so excited about this. I could not wait for it to come in. It's finally here. I mixed it up and it basically says that you need to take one part paint to three quarters um, of the powder. It's a powder substance and I mixed my paints, custom color. I kind of like this color, it's pretty. It's probably gonna show up a little bit more green, but it's a true teal. It's really beautiful. Uh, so I mix this one up and I'm gonna get started on this. So I will move the camera. Okay, uh, we're gonna get started. So you've seen all my previous videos on how to take the molds, put them in and take them out and all that fun stuff. So feel free to watch those. There's a lot of good information on those. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this as I'm talking to you. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm applying the mold to it. And so what I've noticed about this paint is it is a chalked, chalked base paint, um, and this it, it's 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 thick. It's it's kind of like super thick. You see it? I don't know if you guys can see that yet, uh, but it is thick, thick, and I like that. It helps kind of have control over where you're gonna put it, and you're supposed to just kind of kind of slap it on there in any which way you want. You can. Uh, there's all kinds of ways you can do it, but this is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try and just do this. So as it dries, the little peaks that I'm making will stick up. And then the idea is to go back over it after it's about dry, kind of flatten out some of those peaks. And then you take paint and you paint over it after it's dry. So I'm going to work on this. You guys can watch and then I will return. So now what I'm going to do is take the dryer and I'm going to try and dry it faster so that I don't have to sit here. I mean, it's very painful to watch paint dry. Ha ha ha, no pun intended. Be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and I'm going to talk to you about what I've done. I went ahead and put in the mold. Can you see that? There it is. There's the mold. I painted it with the salt wash paint uh, that is an additive that goes into your chalk paint or whatever paint you want to use. And then after that, I dried it with my heat gun. And then I took the white chalk paint by Be Chiqued and I went ahead and painted the whole thing. And I left this part here a little less paint because I wanted some of the, the different textures to come through. So what I'm gonna do now is move the camera so you can see what I'm gonna do, but I have a damp cloth here and I'm gonna kind of wipe off some of the paint so that we can see a little bit more of those peaks coming through. So 